my name is Stephen Morris. I'm the founder of Catalata Makerspace, which is in downtown Silver Spring. We opened here in September of 2015. I've been, I'd been looking around for a long time in Silver Spring for a place to like this, to come and make things, and there wasn't anything. I had that sort of light bulb moment one day that I decided that this is what I was going to do. And I deeply believe in the philosophy of making things with your hands and people learning skills to do that. Good afternoon, Catalina Makerspace. We have professional crafters, um, somebody who comes and uses a place um, for doing sewing and things like that. Um, people who make things for a living. Uh, my name is Mariam Hamed and I'm making yoga mat bags. I'm mixing uh, fabric uh, that is a kitenge cloth from Tanzania. Yes, my name is Mark and I am uh, a, a dog photographer. I um, photograph uh, shelter animals, shelter dogs, shelter cats. So it uh, brings me a lot of happiness to do this kind of work. We have teenagers come in here and they get engaged with 3D design, um, making all sorts of different projects. I can do design on a computer with all this cool technology. And it's kind of like you can fulfill the sort of urge to create, uh, create something that's real yeah. life, which is pretty cool. The evening phase comes in and people come and start working on their hobbies, their projects, the things that they dream about. I come here and you make something and it's, you can sort of say, see, this is what I did. And it's just a different, it's just, you're just using a different part of your brain, working with your hands, making something, and it, it feels good. And there's a nice sense of community that, that forms. So, it's a lot of fun. I believe, that. I believe that people can be creative, and it's just really a case of lowering those barriers that people perceive in themselves. Uh, my name's Ed Garner, I'm a local school teacher. I had a student who was uh, autistic, and he he couldn't follow more than one instruction at once, so I helped him make, make this toy. This is one I've had for a long time, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, and it was uh, one of the most fun to make because it was, uh, I was actually you know, able to work with somebody uh, who really appreciated it. <laughs> to have people with all sorts of different backgrounds and skills come here is fantastic. And to have those people kind of like looking at each other's projects and saying, well, that's pretty cool. You know, could you teach me how to do that? I mean, those are the sort of things that, that form community and build community and, you know, so that's a lot of the magic that can, can happen in the maker space. Mm -hmm.